Thank you for downloading this week's episode of DiabeticRadio.com. This is episode 8. And in this episode, I would like to discuss some of my personal tips on saving money on your diabetes. You know, um, even those of us that have the best of insurance, at some point in our lives, you know, we say to ourselves, you know, Dawn, I'm spending a whole lot of money for my diabetes. Well, that's the story of almost all of us who are diabetic. So I would like to share some of my personal uh, tips on saving money. Now, before I do that, um, a, a friend of mine, an online friend, has sent me a great tip uh, from DearJanice.com. Her name is Kathy. Thanks, Kathy. Um, just wanted to give you that shout out. Um, the tip that she gave is anytime you have a very low blood sugar, you can use pancake syrup and you can put it under the tongue and those of us who've been diabetic for a long time, well at least those of us who are type 1 knows that uh, the quickest way to get sugar into your bloodstream is under the tongue, uh, under the palate. And um, it's a real great way, it's fast and quick. And um, this is a money saver because uh, I personally, I like to use glucose tablets, but Sometimes glucose tablets can be very expensive if you can't afford it. So using um, any kind of pancake syrup um, uh, will do. And usually they're about $1.59. You can get a good size uh, pancake syrup and use that to uh, raise your blood sugar. Thank you so much, Kathy, for that. Um, now, uh, the next on my list is copays maximizing your copays now first I recommend that you please don't assume call your uh, insurance find out exactly what's covered and what's the maximum dose uh, that they are willing to uh, pay for now just to give you an idea for most insurances if you're under copay uh, regardless of how much or how little uh, your uh, daily dose is or your, uh, um, how many times a day you take your medicine or the actual dose, usually the co-pays will be exactly the same. So having said this, if for example you're taking metformin 500 milligrams a day, uh, you can ask your uh, doctor to uh, write a prescription for four times a day so that this way that prescription will last you four months and you can actually save yourself sixty dollars because the next three months you don't have to um, get another prescription that's a real great way of saving money now let's see uh, the other thing is that you want to check some of your uh, pharmacies because sometimes pharmacies uh, the bigger pharmacies like CVS and Rite Aid um, sometimes the prices for uh, meds uh, if you don't have insurance could be slightly cheaper than the smaller mom and pop stores uh, it may take a little bit of footwork but you, you know if you save ten twenty dollars um, that's ten twenty dollars that's in your pocket that you can use for something else uh, uh, you can also check for uh, coupons if you go on manufacturer sites uh, a lot of them may have uh, coupons for meters some of them have special coupons for um, uh, actual medication like some uh, um, like Nova Nordis they have a um, uh, some kind of reimbursement program or um, sometimes pharmacies know about um, uh, some financial assistance uh, programs with with medications or, or get discounts on medications also try to get connected with diabetes support groups because many of them know of um, uh, uh, needle exchanges where you can 
uh, get free syringes and, and, and pen needles for your uh, insulins. Um, I also recommend that you buy uh, your uh, strips, uh, name brand strips online. Um, so far what I've seen from personal experience, Amazon.com has the best prices. I mean I literally save almost half the price that I would pay in a regular pharmacy and it's just I, it's incomprehensible incompre that these um, um, that these uh, manufacturers who, who 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 manufacture medicines and insulins and and, and and strips are making this astronomical amount of money and you got hospitals closing down because they can't afford to function this is unacceptable and um, if we don't do something about it, we, we, we're all doomed. You might as well say, you know, we diabetics are just dead. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we can't afford to let this happen. Um, the, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, um, samples from your uh, doctor. Many manufacturers, um, because they want you to... Uh, they, they want the doctors to prescribe and, and use you to, their patients to use their products. They often have uh, freebies, and um, although you know that's that that's a blessing and a curse. I mean, it's, some people may see it as a curse because they're pushing these medications onto the uh, um, onto the patients. But yet at the same time, if it's something that um, you really need or you really uh, 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 it's the only thing that really works for you then it could be as a blessing because if you can't afford it and the doctor has free samples you know by all means if I was you um, take it um, and uh, I think I think that's about it as far as tips so thank you for uh, watching this episode and I look forward to uh, creating more videos thanks bye bye now Thank you.